I'd like to introduce the new Cashmaster One Max. It weighs about two and a half pounds. It'll count all the coins and all the bills in this cash drawer in about a minute. Uh, it comes with a built-in printer right here, the little thermal printer, and it has a battery which is rechargeable, similar to a cell phone. So you would charge it up overnight and it will work for maybe eight hours. When you first turn it on, it's going to ask you what kind of account mode you want. If we wanted to count a cash drawer, for example, we key in the drawer number, and then it's going to ask for a, a cup. We use loose cups for the coins. So we're weighing the weight of the cup to program that in. So now we're ready to go. As you can see, it's asking first for pennies. It's going to go pennies, nickels, dimes. So we put our pennies on here, and there's our pennies. Automatically scrolls to nickels. There's our nickels. We have 15 nickels worth 75 cents. It adds it to the pennies. Automatically goes to the dimes and then to the quarters. We just counted $6.41 of loose coin. So now it's asking for rolls of coin. If we have any rolls of coin, we can take them and put them on one roll at a time. It will tell us there's $2 in nickels, $10 in quarters, 50 cents in pennies, and it adds that up as you go. This roll is incorrect, the dimes. It's short by one dime. It will not let us count it because it's not accurate. When we finish with the rolls, it automatically scrolls to loose bills. So we're looking at $1 bills. We take about 20 at a time and put them on there. So we just counted 103 $1 bills. We take one off, it shows 102. We put it back on, it shows 103. So now we're ready for $5 bills. Six of those, and then tens. Twenties. We just counted $251.91 in a little more than a minute. At this point, if we have any non-cash items, we can add them by pushing, keying in, for example, the value of all your checks. So now we can review the total. And here it is. If everything's in balance, we push this button here. And now comes the tape detailing the time, the date, the, the till number, the register number, and the itemized detail of everything that's been counted. If we're finished, we push finish and go back to start over again. We can either save to memory or start a new cash drawer.